morning. Today is Monday and we're ready for college. I just got to do Lydia's hair and we're done. So, I'm a bit annoyed this morning. I've been on the phone for 17 minutes this morning whilst I was getting ready to try and sort a bill out. And I was on the phone for literally like, I was on hold for about 14 minutes. Then I was on the phone for like three minutes, then my signal goes. I was absolutely gutted. So, that's put me in a annoyed mood. So I'm going to have to go through all of it again later. But I mean, it's going to be 10 times worse because everyone else is going to be falling later on. That's why I thought I was the person this morning. So I'm very much annoyed. Um, going for a new look, put a bit of blusher on. Put some lipstick on. It was a lot darker than that, but I've had to like pat it down because I don't suit. I just don't suit lipstick. That is like a similar colour to my actual lips, but normally I don't suit it. So um, I ordered quite a few things at eBay as well, um, which I'll show you later on what I ordered. Um, nothing else really. It's the missus. We're gonna do your hair. Because your hair seems to be out of control. It does. It seems to be out of control. Mummy's got a hair in her eye. So, are we going to nursery to see the kids? Yeah. Are you looking forward to it? Whatever you're doing. Yes, that's mummy's tissue that I've just patted my lips on. No, don't put it on your face. Are we going to go see the kids? Yes. Careful okay, you don't stand on Bella. You probably stood on my bag. As long as you're not stood on the dinner. It's okay. Right. I suppose we better go, Mrs. Because we start in 20 minutes. And I'll leave that in there. <laughs> Paddy, Paddy. Get off, get off, get off, get off. So, we finished college. We came out, we came back early, got a really bad head, and Lydia is very moody, aren't you darling? So I'm just going to go to my to get a few bits, and then go home, and we'll have a little snooze. Mm -hmm. Yeah? Moody? Yeah. Who's now and I've put the bits of shopping away that I got and because my cupcakes went down really well the other day I bought some more, bit, more bits to do 
So all it is is the Betty Crockett's and I got different, I think I got different icing this time. Chocolate fudge. Yeah. Uh, we've got some marshmallows to go on the top. Bag's already open, Lydia's had a few. And <clears throat> I'm about to start it now, so let's get on with it. It's one lap done. So here is one set. There's already one in the oven. Marshmallows have. chilled out a little bit. Um did you went to bed. I watched the soap. <sighs> and then um my Callum's brother printed my um work off for the bath stuff. Um so I've just cut all that up tonight with the Guillotine, is that what it is? Um, so it's got like a nice funny border. Um, I've got all the pictures and that out. Um, ready for tomorrow. So I started doing the writing in it. Um, I've just used my alphabet stickers um, so trying to get the writing all neat um, so I just need to try and find some of the little decorative um, either pictures or stickers or something like that I can either stick or draw on um, so that's all in, on in that's all in the bag um ready for tomorrow. Um I also watched um a documentary on BBC iPlayer. It was on the TV a couple of weeks ago but I never watched it. And then I seen I heard someone talking about it and I was like I really want to watch it. Um so I thought, right, I'll stick that on whilst I'm chopping everything up. And I got really, really emotional. It's just, it's crazy. It's basically about, um, there was three women who suffered from really bad um, domestic violence. And there was one lady who was literally beaten to a pulp. Like, it was ridiculous like her face was just black and purple and it was horrible listening to the phone call that she phoned to the police um but she never actually spoke to them like she just the number was dialed and they could hear everything that was going on and it was just awful awful thing for anyone to go through um so that got me quite upset 
and then at the end, you know, she's she's saying that, you know, as soon as they went in the courts, the lady eyes on each other and things, and that was the man who she fell in love with. And people always wonder and say, well, why do, why do you go back when you know what it's like? And but when you when you're stuck in that rut, and and you love that person, you'll always forgive them, and you, you forget about the bad times, and always remember the good times. So then you go back. And then it just, it just completely, it just ruins your life. It really does and it just goes to show you can't even trust the ones that you, the, the ones that are supposed to love you, if that makes sense, you know. There was one one girl, she'd been with him for 10 years and, you know, pretty much could have killed her. It is so crazy. Very, very crazy. So, that's playing on my mind a little bit now. Um, it's now 10 12. I will get an early night at one point. I don't know. Um, yeah, so I think I'm going to call it a night now, get my head down and fresh for college in the morning. Um, so yeah, um, thank you for watching, um, there's been quite a lot in this vlog today which I'm quite impressed with. I think there is anyway from what I remember. I seem to have got it quite a bit. Um so anyway. Also find out when we go to edit it, which we do like because we ought to be watching it. Um right. So thank you for watching and we shall see you tomorrow. Good night.